Welcome to the Whiskey Trail. Today we're going to be reviewing West Cork Whiskey. It's Whiskey Wednesday, of course, and we like to pick a whiskey that we really like and tell you all about it. So today we have this coming from a distillery in the southwest of Ireland, in Skibbereen, which is a beautiful place if you ever get a chance to visit um, Ireland. Pop down to West Cork Distillers if they'll let you in and have a look around. And obviously Middleton is down in that neck of the woods, so if you're looking for some of the finest whiskey, southwest of Ireland down to Cork is where to go. Um, this whiskey is something very, very unique. It's, um, it's an Irish whiskey. It's a single malt and it is aged in a set of bog oak charred casks. Now these casks are sourced and um, they do not have a cooperage, their own cooperage down in West Cork. They source their own barrels um, from around the world. Um, this one initially was aged in sherry casks, what they got from Spain. And then they got American oak barrels. And they did something quite unique. They went to Glen Gareth, which is a beautiful area down near where the distillery is. Um, beautiful um, old forest down there. There's a uh, bog, which is, um, I suppose, if you I don't know what bog is, um, straight away your mind thinks of somewhere you get stuck in the mud. But um, uh, bog and turf is something synonymous with the west co coast of Ireland. Um, people use it as a source of fuel. They went down off to the bog, they cut up some turf, which are sods, and they laid them out to dry and use that in their fire. So um, what they did here was they got bog oak. Um, so actually the wood that would, I suppose, die off the tree or fall off the tree or the, the tree would eventually fall into the bog and then it would start decomposing and turn into turf. They did not use a turf in this, so it is in another uh, one of the Glengarve series, the peat oak charred cask. This is the bog oak charred cask. And what they did was they got that oak and they burnt it inside the barrel. So they developed their own way of firing that because usually um, barrels are charred using um, well, today gas. In the, in the past, it would have been open fires. So then in West Cork, they have developed a way to um, get this bog oak and char their own cask with it. Um, this is bottled at 43% ABV, so it's um, it's a little bit uh, higher than, you know, people are used to the 40% this simple drinking. Um, and what I think of this, this whiskey opens up a conversation about stereotypes of Irish whiskey. A lot of people think very sweet, um, biscuity, Irish whiskey is very friendly. This is something different. This isn't altogether friendly, which is, uh, it's, it's, it's a beautiful whiskey. It tastes lovely, but it has an edge to it. And uh, the people down in West Cork have a great edge to them as well. So um, I think that what they're trying to do is show their own passion in this whiskey. So I'm going to pour myself a drop here. And see what we taste. <laughs> Straight off you get this big nose of heather. Um, and, and wood. Like this, this definitely a almost a treacle-like wood coming through um, where they've, <laughs> they've certainly uh, gone in and, and charred this this, this cask uh, quite strongly. There's no age statement on this bottle. I would love to know uh, how long they're, they're aging it in. You get these dark caramels in it as well. Maybe a little bit more towards toffee. And you certainly get a little bit of young fruit in it. It's a, it's a young enough whiskey, but if you look at it, it's got a little bit of a dark tone to it, probably from that really heavy charring they gave it. To be honest, the nose promises a little bit more than the, the taste of the palate. I, I would say it would need another couple of years maybe in, in that cast to see what it, what it develops. I might start pulling more of that bog oak out of it and uh, seeing where that heather nose ends up and might end up a little bit deeper, a little bit darker. I used to go down to West Cork as a kid, and um, if you look, it's a cool little map on this where you can see Glen Gareth and Skibbereen, they're a little bit of a distance away. Um, well, not, not for the guys down in Skibbereen, but from here in Dublin where I'm making the video here on Whiskey Wednesday. Um, it's, it's a long out trip, well, in Irish terms, two and a half to three hours down to Skibbereen. Um, I used to take my dad six hours on the roads down there because uh, he used to like to stop at every place he could look at any... Um, any place he could find, any antiques or a forest stream where he could chill out for a while. Uh, the roads are bad back then, but now he could be down in, in Cork City in two to two and a half hours, depending on how heavy your foot is. 
something I didn't mention here. This is a cool bottle, isn't it? This is a really dark brown, which kind of makes your mind jump straight away to those forests and charring those those casks. Um, their own distillery down there making their own liquid which is really really great they're, they're an independent um um distillery for quite a long time i'm not too sure I, I heard whispers of a takeover there recently but i haven't I haven't actually gone and researched that so i'll have to give them a shout and see what's going on but um the team have signed it down there and what you what you come uh, from these guys is passion what comes across straight away through through this bottle um flavor is great I'd love to put it in a cocktail and see um there's a lovely musky kind of forest floor flavor coming through it it does have a sweetness from it but it definitely has that because it's quite quite a young whiskey I imagine maybe Irish whiskey has to be three years old to be called Irish whiskey so three years sitting in an, in a wooden barrel it doesn't have to be oak but this is obviously an oak and the sherry notes come through a little bit of sweetness from the cherry but there's a little bit of bite in the back and it's, it's beautiful um <laughs> i love their logo here of a fishing boat coming back in because what they're making down in cork is uh is great whiskey they're also uh they've some of the best seafood in the world so get over to west cork try some of this this is one to buy definitely um drinking this at a kind of like a bastardization of a glen Cairn glass this is a glass I got from the guys in DWD, Dublin Whiskey Distillery, which is another revived brand that we're going to be reviewing soon. So um, come along and check that out later. Uh, the queue is uh, building up here for our next few reviews. Almost time for me to go. I just wanted to see what the finish on that was like. It's short. It's a little bit caramelly. Tingles on the back of your tongue. There's, there's no burn. <laughs> it's hard to find an Irish whiskey any any burn when you're when you're distilling such fabulous whiskey. And this is another one I'd be happy to have on the, on the shelf, guys. If you are listening from West Cork Distillers, the Glengarry series I have um, a bottle of the Peak, uh, Pete, sorry, the Pete cask on order. I wonder how many you're going to make in the series. Please let us know. Do. Uh, put some comments below ask us some questions we'll be sure to get back to you and please uh, subscribe to the channel for now this is whiskey wednesday i'm gonna have a drink and um hope you join me too so slaunch it for now until we talk again see you soon